Baby bedding is very important because babies can't regulate their body temperatures. As a parent, you'll need to get the right bedding to ensure they don't feel too cold or too hot. The bedding usually includes blankets, pillows, comforters and stuffed animals. However, baby girl bedding is specifically made for your princess. Little baby girls are just so precious, so, you have to make sure yours is comfortable when she goes to sleep. The best possible way to do this is to get a nice and cozy baby girl bedding. Baby girl bedding sets can come in any combination of sheets, comforters, or duvets. It all depends on how warm your area is. When getting a baby girl bedding, you should think about the types of covers your baby girl would want in her set. Well, that is not the only the thing to consider when picking one. Consider the colors, patterns, and materials. While making your baby girl comfortable is the goal, try to avoid things that'll make her feel irritated or make your life harder as the keeper. The bed is usually the centerpiece of most children's bedroom. Then bedding presents parents an opportunity to put in a bit of color and fun into the bedroom. Make statements with bright color-blocked linen, patterned neutrals or classic gingham and stripes. While the looks for your girl's bedding is very important, there's also its productivity and efficiency to keep in mind. The baby girl bedding needs to be soft and well-fitting. It has to be durable enough to withstand the countless times it'll be run through the washing machine. Here are a few tips you should keep in mind while searching for the ideal baby girl bedding. 1. The nursery outfit. It can be a bit of a challenge to pick the perfect decor theme because there are a lot of beautiful options available. You need to zero down your preferences to match what you want. Using a neutral color on the walls and ceiling of your baby girl's nursery gives you more room for flexibility. It lets you change the room to suit the growth stages of your baby girl. Soft bedroom accessories such as crib bedding sets establish the decor and are easily updated as desired by you, the parent. 2. Think forward. A baby crib bedding collection typically consists of a quilt, a fitted crib sheet, a crib skirt, and a diaper stacker. Its accessories include everything from crib bumpers and blankets to mobiles, lamps and window treatments. With just so many cute girl crib beddings, there's no reason for you to choose just one. You'll want to have options for when the laundry gets stocked up. You might just like a seasonal change too. Just like you would have different clothes for your baby girl, it's also sensible to have multiple baby girl bedding sets. This way, you never get short of it. 3. Cot or bassinet? Consider where your baby girl will sleep before choosing a bedding set. Babies sleep a lot, so your baby will be spending a lot of time in her sleeping space. Keeping your baby safe while they sleep is paramount. The question is if a crib or a bassinet is a better choice for her first few crucial months. The crib and bassinet are great safe choices for your newborn, but they have their differences. The first is the size. A crib takes more space than a bassinet. So, a bassinet is easier in a small house. Its small size makes it more portable and it can be carried around. Also, bassinets come with hoods or covers that you can pull over her head while she sleeps. The sides are lower, so you do not have to lean over the rail to place your girl inside. This makes it easy for first-time parents. On the other hand, cribs can be used beyond the newborn stage. It can be converted to toddler beds and can last for years. Bassinet can only be used for the first few months of a baby's life. Cribs are more expensive but since they last longer, its investment is lower. For the course of bedding designs, a crib would be more functional. 4. Baby Girl Bedding Materials when getting a baby girl bedding set, the first factor to consider is the type of material you want. The most common and secure type of baby girl bedding is the cotton material. This is because the material is soft and easy to clean, making it the perfect material for her bedding. The cotton fabric is the most popular of them all. It is soft and highly absorbent. It is gentle on the baby's skin. The organic cotton fabric is ideal because it's grown without the use of chemicals and fertilizers. Babies often have allergies or specific skin conditions which can aggravate through contact with rough and synthetic fabrics. Making use of organic cotton is a safe and sure way to ensure that your little girl is comfortable. Aside from cotton, another great material is flannel. It is another version of cotton. The little twist to it is that this version of cotton has been combed to make all the fibers stand up, making up for extra cushy bedding material. The next material is wool. It's a classic bedding material because of its warmth. 
So, if you live in an environment with a cold climate, a wool baby girl bedding blanket is a nice option. 5. Baby girl bedding colors. After you've decided on a material that fits your baby girl's comfort zone, your next step is to find a color she'll like. When it comes to baby girl bedding, there are some colors that are common. Generally, babies like light and bright colors because they keep them engaged and interested in their surroundings. For your little girl, colors such as red, yellow, light blue, gold, mint and coral are beautiful. When you have picked a color, ensure it matches the rest of her room. For instance, if the room is painted white, the bedding can be pink or peach just to make the place magnifique. Girls are easily attracted to all shades of pink, floral, botanical and fairy patterns. If you want to spice up her room and give her something different from the rest, try mixing bed linen in funny shades of lipstick pink with bright red and apple green. 6. Bedding Patterns and Themes When you've decided the material and color you want, you can pick out a theme. Baby girl bedding has a lot of themes. Some are related to nature and animals, cartoons and popular children characters. This simply means that if you think your child will love floral designs on her bedding, you have a lot of options to choose from. Floral designs could have trees or branches featured in their patterns. It could be a combination of both animals and floral designs to make the theme much more interesting. Insects are another popular range of bedding designs. Patterns of ladybugs and butterflies will look cute as they adorn your baby's bedding. There are also princess-themed beddings. You can never go wrong with these because girls love to be treated as princesses. It often comes in pink and white colors. It usually has patterns of crowns, fairies, or fairy tale castles. Safe Sleeping Guidelines 1. Lay the baby on her back from birth, and not on her tummy or her sides. 2. Ensure the baby's face is uncovered while lying down. Do not use pillows, sheepskins bumpers or soft toys in their cot. 3. Make sure your baby has a safe sleeping environment with a safe cot, mattress, and bedding. 4. Let the baby lay in a safe environment next to yours for the first 6-12 to 12 months. 5. The bed needs to be firm and safe, with a firm mattress that has no gaps where the child could fall through and get trapped. Waterbeds, sofa or couches, lounges, bean bags, pillows, and quilts should not be used. 6. Do not push up the bed against a wall, it's not a protective style for the baby girl, because she can get trapped between the wall and the bed. 7. Duvets and pillows are not recommended for girls under 12 months old. Once your little girl is a year old, then you can get her a duvet made from hypoallergenic materials and with a washable cotton cover. 8. Use cotton blankets for spring and summer in a room that has a fan or air conditioner. Then keep woolen blankets for winter. 9. Your little girl feels relaxed and calm when a lighter duvet is used for her than the heavy ones. The latter causes a lot of heat and discomfort, as their little bodies trap more heat than ours. Factors to consider before getting that baby girl bedding. 1. How practical and easy would it be to wash that bedding? Being able to throw in sheets and blankets into the washing machine and line dry them will save you a lot of time and energy. You must avoid harsh detergents with strong perfumes as it can irritate your baby's skin. It can suffocate her as well. The lungs of your newborn are not yet strong enough for strong scents. 2. Try your best to get as much bedding as you can. This helps reduce constant washing, and it also saves the fabric from quick ruin. 3. Go for 100% cotton and natural materials, where your little girl can comfortably lay without her skin getting irritated by artificial fibers. Static electricity builds up in nylon blends, cotton, wool, and linen blends are safe for your little girl. 4. Try to avoid using pillows until your little one is in a bed. It is risky because small babies can put their heads under the pillows. Even as toddlers, they can still use a pillow as a step to hoist themselves out of their cot. 5. The secret to warmth for your little one is layering. It is better than using a heavy blanket on her. It is better to swaddle or wrap up your baby, then tuck her in with a lighter weight blanket over the top, rather than making use of a heavy blanket on them. 6. If your baby is using a cot, always position her in the lower end of the cot rather than towards the top. Resting her little feet on the bottom cot rails will stop her from sliding under the covers and her face being covered. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. 
Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.babyproductsadvisor.com for more awesome baby product content like this.